What do you think is the strongest feature of our channel? The subscribers? No, I mean like, <laughs> you know, our personalities or the subjects we do, like in those terms. Me! <laughs> Do you guys know what happens to be on the way from here to Poland? Iceland. Well, it's not directly on the way, but you can make a stop in Iceland while flying from US to Poland. And that's what we have decided to do. It was also the cheapest way of um, getting from US to Poland this time, because it is the summer, it's the hot season, a lot of people are buying tickets so we sat there for a long time looking for our connection not right now this was a few weeks ago and this is what we ultimately decided to do didn't it basically cut the ticket price in half by doing these two pretty different, much two different airlines and a layover in Iceland yep that's pretty much what it was but this episode is not about uh, how to travel for less advice from Ronnie and David <laughs> This episode is about something else, but before we get to the main subject, we wanted to ask you guys, and we wanted to do a little experiment to see if it's even possible that there is someone among you that are watching us right now. What are the chances, right? But maybe there's a chance. Someone from Iceland who could perhaps help us out a little bit. We're looking for advice. We're looking for a maybe a place to stay. I found a lot of affordable Airbnb, but the expensive part is getting a car to actually go anywhere because getting a car the car rental costs there are a lot higher than here and if you want to actually go into some of the more beautiful areas you have to pay even more for insurance to protect the car so i was looking at the camper vans so we could have lodging and hotel at the same time but none of the camper van people have replied to us yet and the time is of the essence, so to speak, uh, because we will be in Iceland on the 4th and the 5th of August, so just in a few days. So this is a little experiment to see if a channel that just passed 10,000 subscribers <laughs> has enough reach to find someone in Iceland. Did you know that Iceland's largest immigrant population is Polish people? Well, I did see uh, the Polish people in Iceland movie by Kuba Witek. You know, that's, that's exactly why I'm secretly counting that maybe we'll uh, connect with some Polish people in Iceland who will be willing to help us out because there's such big Polish population in there. But we're really happy to connect with anyone. Maybe you guys can give us some tips or just help us out somehow. Mimo, że jest wieczór, to nadal jest duszno i gorąco, ale z tego co piszecie, to w Polsce jest tak samo. Tutaj jest zdjęcie, które wcześniej dzisiaj zostało zrobione przez starszego pana Mielcarka w Tarnowskich Górach. Temperatury, jak widać, przypominają te z Kalifornii, z pustyni w Kalifornii, z Death Valley. I jeśli już o tym mówimy, to też... Y będzie coś, co mnie rozbawiło. W Hongkongu niedawno, nie, może pamiętacie, rozmawialiśmy, mieliśmy krótką konwersację z tą parą, która mieszka w Hongkongu, z tą rodziną, która wyprowadziła się do Hongkongu niedawno. Our jobs made us move to Hong Kong, so we're right over the border from China. What are you missing? <laughs> Miss the weather. I mean, the, yeah. the drier weather is... It's fabulous. I mean, I, I never this appreciate it. Yes, this, this is dry. dry. This is dry for yes. you. Yes. Okay. Yes. I w Hongkongu jest tak duszno i gorąco przez cały rok, że ostatnio mieli tam ostrzeżenie o pogodzie zimowej. I w tym ostrzeżeniu napisali, żeby, żeby sprawdzić starszych członków swoich rodzin. To znaczy y, trzymać rękę na pulsie i kontrolować, czy nie, prawda, nie jest im za zimno, nic im się nie stanie w związku z, z ostrą zimową pogodą. I potem y, wyszło na to, że temperatura, o którą tak się martwili, to było 50 stopni. <grym> Więc... Y Szkoda, że ci ludzie nie mogli doświadczyć zimy z czasów, kiedy ja chodziłem do szkoły jako mały dzieciak i zaspy śnieżne były potąd i szkół nie zamykali, dopóki przez dwa tygodnie nie było minus 20. I don't know if we can uh, make you guys see this clearly enough, but 
the plate on this car in front of me says break a leg. So this is a good omen right before we uh, leave for this trip to Iceland and Poland because Americans say that often and it's just if you want to basically wish someone good luck which makes in their, no in their sense. Vibes. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. I have no idea why. Why they say break a leg? Yeah. But well, it's like the opposite thing. I know. Well, that's just weird. Uh, we have the same... Fall off a cliff and die. Well, they say this because it's like putting a voodoo on reality. You know, you say the opposite thing. So you wish somebody luck so it doesn't happen. We have exactly the same saying in Poland. Poła which means the same thing, literally break your legs, which means you obviously wish somebody to not break their legs. Rzuciło nas chwilowo do miejsca zwanego Wallington, Delaware, gdzie Bloń robi kolejną sesję portretową, to tak jeszcze na szybko przed wyjazdem. To jest takie miejsce, no. Osobiście to przyznam, że bardziej y, przeżywałem te, te 10 tysięcy subskrybentów niż się spodziewałem, że mógłbym coś takiego przeżywać, więc nie wiem dlaczego tak się stało, ale jakoś tak, y, tak mnie to rozkleiło mnie to w pewien sposób. Bardzo dziwne uczucie. Did you see our 10,000 subscribers video? Like half of it. Half of it? Yeah. Why so? Because then I was doing the bracelet. Oh, you were doing the bracelet. Did you get this from your mama? Mm-hmm. As a uh, gift because we're going to be gone for so long? <sighs> Are you going to miss her? Oh, you guys can do Skype and whatever. I don't use Skype. What do you use? Duo. A what? Duo. What is that? It's like FaceTime, but for Android and iPhone. And so it's like Skype. Stuff. No. But it, it's you don't a, message on it. But it's video calling. Yeah. I was right. It's like Skype. No. What do you think is the strongest feature of our channel? What do you mean? Like, why do people watch it? No, like what sets us apart? The fact that you make it Polish and English and you translate the whole thing so people can completely read and understand both languages. We're completely bilingual. I'm not bilingual, but you're bilingual. So you think this is special because why? Well, I don't think anybody else takes the time to do those translations the way that you do and uploads a video every three days. I mean, maybe there is somebody, and maybe somebody can point us to them, but I feel like it's going to be pretty rare, especially targeting Polish people in particular. So you think we build some of our audience based on that alone, that we're completely bilingual? From the comments, it sounds like people who are interested in Polish find your channel particularly helpful because maybe even trying to learn English, but I've only seen the people trying to learn Polish mention I see this. the ones who are trying to learn English. Oh, I don't understand them, so. <laughs> but I see comments from people who are English speakers only, and they say, wow, I've been trying to learn Polish, and your subtitles have been very helpful for me to figure out what words are going with what you're saying. And I, I mean, other than particularly Polish language teaching channels, there's none that are like, that I'm aware of, that are just lifestyle channels that do this. Dziewczyny się wybierają na wieczorne kajakowanie, bo za dwa dni my znikamy na miesiąc, więc nie będą się widzieć przez bardzo długi okres czasu. 
Jutro Sherry do jedzie na jakiś tam obóz. Nie wiem dokładnie co ma zaplanowane, ale nie będzie już z nami. Więc mają dzisiaj dosłownie ostatnie kilka chwil, żeby spędzić ze sobą trochę czasu. Niech sobie pływają. But we're not gonna see you for the whole month. So the views are gonna drop. Yep. It's gonna be less subscribers. Yep. The old ones are gonna walk away. You're gonna have to redo your 10,000 subscriber video. It's a grim outlook for the next month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do we what do we do now? Well you can't find another me, so you, I don't know. <laughs> we copy Sheridan. We clone you. Do you think the Even clone? Even the clone won't be as good as me. No. <laughs> no. You're so one of a kind that even the clone won't do. Yep. <laughs> Reykjavik. Oh, see? Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> it's the same! <laughs>